Hey you guys, this is Stephanie. Thanks for tuning in. Now before we get into the video, I have a reel that I created for Instagram that I wanted to go ahead and share with you guys. As I dive into 30, 31, and 32, working with the new LE Studio September release, I was on the design team for this month and I went ahead and do what I normally do with the kit. I like to break it down into project life and I got three weeks documented or at least prepped. So I'm pulling in the photos for each of the weeks and I'm pulling out the cards from the monthly kit. I don't place any of the add-ons, uh, stickers, hearts, uh, chipboard or anything like that just because I'm not 100% sure if it's going to go with that pocket page. So I just keep it off to the side and I go ahead and dive into it throughout each of the week uh, processes. All right, I've already moved on to week 32. Here I'm just trimming the photos so that way I can place them better and also keep them, you know, side by side since those are three by fours. And this is where I am determining between the cards and what's going to fit the pattern or just in general what's going to fit the theme of this pocket page. And there you have it. Now I'm going to go ahead and move on to the actual process of each of the weeks that I just shared with you guys. Comment down below if you have a monthly subscription and if you do the same thing or do you just have your go-to technique when doing your projects? Do you stay with one brand or do you go with the flow? All right, you guys, I am starting off with week 30. I have my two cards here, as you can see, and I have my embellishments in the muffin tray there at the upper right, oh, sorry, upper left portion. I did turn it around, so these are the September Side cuts and I just really love this tag and I thought it'd be perfect to fit on this 4x6 photo of my toddler. I caught the perfect expression on his face if he was smiling so big as he grasped the concept of doing these two, well it's not two, it's like a bunch of cards that have two pieces to kind of like match up the scene in Moose Winnie the Pool and he, I used to just be the one basically doing it and he just really started to do it all on his own and his smile is just so oh, I just loved it so it was a perfect little tag to place on top of that four by six so now I have uh, my title card there um not my title card my title my main photo with my title our week label I placed a die cut on there that says hello autumn and went ahead and placed a little heart sticker and I think I do staple that with the tiny attacher. I'm not 100% sure. Here moving to this 3x4 card, it is just placing the journaling with the 3x4 photo on the left, talking about how one morning um, before school I caught Mason. <laughs> he was um, brushing his hair and brushing his teeth at the same time. I just found it so funny, so hilarious. I took a picture. <laughs> moving to this uh, 3x4 card that I'm currently working on, I pulled out the travel tab stamp set. You guys, if you have not been on my channel before, just know I will talk about their tab stamp, tab stamp sets so many times. I cannot ex express how much I am addicted to them. They're just so many different prompts and they're perfect for um, the themes that they um, are geared toward. So the one that I'm using is the travel based one and it just says road trip destination found and then it says change of plans because that was <laughs> one of those awkward moments we were taking photos of the these uh like a piece of land that we thought was for sale and it turned out the um uh, listing that we saw was inaccurate <laughs> it was the wrong um address and so we were looking basically at private property and there was actually a house further off of it so they were probably looking out the window making fun of my husband <laughs> and me as we uh took photos of their nice land <laughs> awkward anyways moving forward you guys i'm on week 31 i'm so excited for this spread just because i have a actual title card there that four by six that i get to have fun with and i will be bringing um the tiny hearts throughout this layout as well so i had additional cards within the pocket i believe or i did pull out the uh, main kit the excess cards just because you know as you get into the layout more times than not you may need to switch up a card or two just to fit the aesthetic better or the uh, story so i really loved the reds and the pinks in this cards and i do mention that on the unboxing that i just really loved those two cards and i'm so happy that they got to be on the same page Funny story, this is actually in the middle of July, if not August, the beginning of August, so it's not really 
autumn but it fits with all the colors that I have on this pocket page so why not so just keep in mind when you're getting these kits they don't necessarily have to go based by the theme you think it does it totally works just fine with um my, my layout my pocket pages also in the unboxing I mentioned how these metal dies for the labels that are also within the uh, the release can go good on their own you don't necessarily have to stamp out these stamps labels and then cut them out you can just use those labels to cut them out um, out of pattern paper and that's what I did here and I kind of just layer them behind my week label just to give out some more color on this 4x6 so that way it makes sense um, it just pulls in the color I think since there's already a lot of orange on that card I wanted to bring in the red and there's some pink um, dots on there as well and then the green which is also the lighter and the dark green which you see all these colors throughout the um, pocket page then I pulled out a sentiment and that sentiment says all I need is this right here and I call that good. So that just turned out so beautifully and then I'm looking at these heart stickers I thought why don't I just make a bit of a pattern and that's exactly what I do. So I add in the orange ones so I place it in one circle, skip two and place it in another circle and I love the way that turned out. I didn't want to use so many hearts all on one card but I did want to have a bit of a um, accent or a pop and now it just looks like it's um it looks like a pattern card. Just love the way that looks. I kind of just jazzed it up and made it my own, you guys. All right, moving to the 3x4 leaf here. Honestly, it really didn't need anything. I, I loved it the way it was. But I decided to go ahead and add in some hearts on there. So I do triple layer here. I got a white chipboard heart, um, a, a red heart from the die cut, and then I pulled in a red striped tiny heart from the puffy heart sticker. So love that combo later on i'll be adding a stamp sentiment there at the bottom of the leaf and either way i think it was fine before but it does add a nice touch of black on the top as you can see i have my journaling now on here and now i'm i had a space on this card i didn't know what, I, what kind of title to place i thought about just placing the word skate since this card is documenting uh that three by four photo that's next to it about um us doing skating on a uh, family night and that just says this was fun xoxo and it's perfect <laughs> for the little title i did place the little arrows on that three by four card as well but that's not going to stay moving to the next three by four card it's going to be a filler card and i just pulled out a couple of stamps i always work with black ink just because it makes sense since i'm journaling with my typewriter which is also black ink and it just helps pull the entire spread together i pulled out more of the le studio um, product so i have this puffy camera initially i placed a smaller one but then i really wanted to place another puffy heart in the center so i went ahead and went for the medium size one and my little puffy polka dot heart fit perfectly I am all about the hearts for this layout, yes, especially since they have different ones within um, that package. It was like striped hearts, polka dot hearts, uh, solid colored, and then like two, like half, half and half of different solid colors, just a lot of variations and I loved it. So I moved those little arrows down from that family fun card to this orange one and I like that a lot better. That 3x4 photo there next to that orange pattern card is just Henry enjoying time in the craft room with me and getting into the stickers. There's a ton of stickers on his arm and some washi tape on his head and he's just there making rainbows with my inks. There goes my layout. Alright you guys, now I'm moving to week 32. So as you can see here, I did pull out an additional card just because I wasn't 100% sure with this leaf card, although it does match. I feel like it was overpowering the spread since I don't have a lot of color. This is the uh, week where we were really busy with renovations, so I didn't take a lot of photos. I really like this card's word. It says, um, the sentiment on there it says, taking one day at a time. This is where I had, I think, little to no to none uh, sentiments left from the die cuts that are within the monthly kit, so I was having to get a bit more creative. I do go into the paper pad, the thankful paper pad that released in 2021, and I believe is still available, and there is a pattern paper in there that has a bunch of different uh, words on there that were perfect to go ahead and place on here, and you'll see it here in a bit. 
So getting creative, using your stash in a different way. And I go into the cards too, checking to see what I want to place on here. But then I remember the paper pad and I'm really glad that I remembered to pull that in and to use it in a different way than um, and to help stretch to get three weeks uh, documented and used out of my uh, monthly subscription. This is where I'm grabbing out the pattern paper. You'll see it here in a bit. Oh, and I also pull out this stripe because I noticed that the right side of my layout, due to that 4x6 card you see there on the top, it had all the colors on one side, but the left side was now lacking. So I wanted to create a little border strip to somehow place all the colors also on the left side. So I want to place a border on that 3x4 pattern card you see on the left. I will be switching it up here in a bit and you'll see how it turns out. Alright, I cut up the pattern paper with all the different words and I'm going to see where I want to place them. Initially, I start scattering them along the entire pocket page just because, why not? It kind of made sense where they were being placed, but then I thought, oh my god, I have labels. Why don't I just place them there and I'll do my journaling on the side. So that's what I go with. And there goes that border strip I was talking about and I just did that little switcheroo there, um, the 3 by 4 cards, and I love that a lot more. So now I'm just adhering my border strip along this card and that really I felt balanced the entire pocket page by bringing in the colors to the left side of the spread. Now I'm going into the chipboard here and I'm just trying to see what matches with the cards and I have this little half circle that says fun. I do go into the die cuts trying to find some kind of base for it. Initially I don't find anything but I will go back and I will I think place this label back on there but I just kind of struggle a bit since I'm getting low on most of the product which is an amazing feeling. I like to try and use up my kits by bringing them down into different projects. I believe up to date I got a total of six different projects done with this monthly kit and add-ons and still room, still have a ton of products that I can place into my stash and just roll all together with all the LE Studio products that I have. But I do aim to try and use as much of it as I, as I can. Alright you guys, I went ahead and did my journaling with my typewriter and now I went ahead and added in the rest of the uh, cut out sentiments from that pattern paper onto my layout and I love the way that turned out you guys I love the fact that it just kind of like flows throughout the pocket page. I placed on the 4x6 thankful grateful happiness blessed here on this 4x6 down below. I'm putting love this there on the left with the fun half circle on that black and white 4x6. It says tradition because playing board games is definitely a tradition in this household. Alright, there you have it. I have the final overview of each of the weeks that I got documented in this video. Here is week 30. Love the way that turned out. Love the pops and blues of greens and that nice red color. All right, here is week 31. I had so much fun creating that 4x6 title card and just the overall color scheme of this pocket page. And here is 32. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you like this video and to subscribe to see more videos like these. Bye, guys.